Today we are reading Summary of Clock Studio's Financial Report. The financial statements for the third quarter for Clock Studios, providing detailed information on the group's revenue across various sectors, and outlining preliminary targets for future growth. In the third quarter of this fiscal year, the studio's revenue amounted to Alfalfa Credits, a year-to-year -year decrease of 19.2%, and a quarter-to-quarter -quarter decrease of 10.2%. Net profit stood at alfalfa credits, a year-to-year -year decrease of 17%, and a quarter-to-quarter -quarter increase of 0.7%. Animation revenue accounted for approximately 33% of the total, reaching alfalfa credits, showing a 27% year-to-year decrease. During the first three quarters, two Clocky movies and 37 episodes of the Clocky animation series were released, of which the ninth season of the new Clocky series and Clocky's big adventure, Oceania, accounted for 49% and 51%, respectively. It is clear that animation remains a vital aspect of the studio's business. However, the missing chairman caused an impact on the production capacity for the Clocky series, resulting in a significant downturn in ticket sales and the growth of revenue. Image licensing revenue accounted for approximately 29%, reaching alfalfa credits. Throughout the quarter, products such as a dressable clocky, origami bird drone, and mini brother Hanu game console, released in collaboration with Pikapi Toys Factory, achieved favorable results in the market. The studio will continue to invest in relevant products to facilitate the production of higher quality merchandise. The legal department is actively seeking a solution to the upcoming risk of image copyright expiration, and striving to reach a legal consensus with Interastral Peace Entertainment as soon as possible. Lock Studios Theme Park generated a revenue of alfalfa credits, accounting for approximately 18% of the total. Due to the promotion of the Charmony Festival, the theme park's capability in attracting customers and revenue has significantly increased. Investments in iterating amusement programs yielded a positive response, with a 15% rate of return. Investments in visitor services achieved the highest rate of return at approximately 24%. It is expected that during Charmony Festival, the clocky celebration will break through the profit high point in the fourth quarter. Revenue from collaborations outside of Pinaconi accounted for 11%, while collaborations and merchandise sales within Pinaconi accounted for 79%. The marketing department should enhance promotional efforts and market competitiveness in the outside world, particularly in star systems within the family's influence, to ensure long-term success in expanding the clocky series beyond the dreamscape into the wider cosmos. Revenue from other investment projects accounted for approximately 9%, reaching alfalfa credits. Notably, the investment and development of Dream Bubble movies emerged as a new growth driver for Pinaconi's entertainment industry. Market forecasts suggest that Dream Bubble movies may surpass traditional movies within half an amber era and become the new cornerstone of Dreamscape media. The Clocky IP will remain the flagship product of Clock Studios for the foreseeable future. However, it is currently facing several challenges. Our inventory of Clocky animation content is nearly depleted, and the highly anticipated Dreamville Legend series, which has been in development for five years, must be released in theaters next quarter. The finance department emphasized the urgency of establishing contact with the chairman to make new strategic decisions. Failure to do so could pose a significant risk to the financial stability of Clock Studios' capital chain.